Storm. Ask if he already uh, oh, caught the, the new, new strategy. New of strategy. Ah, you guys think I know anything? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, okay. I mean, when you're drafting like that, you don't need to know any strategy, right? You're just draft king. Yeah, I was draft king though, no? When? The Kaboom game, bro. That was a good draft. Yeah, that was a good draft. That's a good draft. Okay, let's go over the game. Let's come on. BKS versus INTZ, right? We played INTZ. Great game. How the fuck the about first tower with Jing against Six? I don't okay. know. Let's look at the draft. Okay, first pick tank. First pick, first pick Sedge. Yeah. Bro, that's a dream comp, really. Even, no, even if your players fucked up, you can win. Okay, I'll be honest. This comp, I wanted to pick Alistar. I said pick Alistar because in 4-5... In I think it's better. Look, in 4-5, there are like a lot of melees left, but the main ones are like Rakan, Rel, and um, Alistar, right? Yeah. So if I go Rel and they get uh, Alistar... I don't I like Rel. Good. I, I, li I like Alistar in that matchup. I yeah. think I think you need a support that can play like turns instead of like just one hard engage, you know? Yeah, but but the, the point is like if you have Ali, Ali's good into Rakan, yeah, right? Because yeah. you can like knock him up, chain CC him. Ali's good into Rel, right? Yeah. So two champions left in the matchup, it's good. Alistar is really good versus Cannon. Yeah. You knock him away for free and you're really That's tanky. True. Alistar's good versus Inzia. It is. Kind of. And we outrange, right? We have it's to good join. Yeah, we have Sejuani, Jin, Rumble. Yeah. Without range. Yeah. Without range for sure. So Ali just needs to like sit there and just like... Hold his... Exactly. Cooldown. It's like fucking OP, right? But Smiley mind controlled the draft here. Oh, it's always Mayo. It was actually Smiley. I said, guys, I really like... I really prefer Alistair. I really pre And Smiley's like, No, but Sejuani requirements! So fucking good! And I'm like, Look, guys, I really like... I really like Alistair here. But you choose. If it's comfort for you, you choose. It's, it's regular season. Then, Smiley is like, uh, then, then Predelta hovers Alistair. He's like, oh, I don't know, I think Alistair's better. And he looks at Smiley and he's like, Smiley's like, Rakan, Rakan, Rakan. And then he locks in Rakan. And then after the game, the first thing Prod comes to me is, he comes to me and he says, Yo, coach, Rakan is a bit hard to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> he says, Rakan is a bit hard to play so this you say game. it's always my fault. Yeah, this, he's got, this guy's literally the enemy of the team. Holy but shit. But I can't, I can't get rid of him. He doesn't like good champions. Only bad ones. Yeah, but he's he's also like he's what? useful. He don't out. want to pick LeBlanc as well. No. Was... But, okay, next draft. Iron TZ was the second game. Kaboom? No. Ka no. Kaboom was Libert. Lib. Lib. No, 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 no. We don't talk about the Libert. Oh, we don't. Oh, we no, don't no. talk about it. We don't. Oh no. Oh, it was red. 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 Nice game. This was a bad game. Wait, this is not the game, bro. One month ago. Okay, let me see. Wait, it's what is the pick order? Here. Okay, let me see. First picks Karner, you go uh Zyra Tristana. Nice combo. And a decent decent into the Skana. Good decent. matchup in jungle. And they they counter pick themselves mid jungle, right? No, they no, pick... I think Cork is good into Trist. In lane. In lane. Ah. See, talkers, it's get up to the trend, talkers. It's not 2015 anymore. It's a good matchup. I think it's about whoever uh, gets Ninja Tab first. It's like this. It's like uh, you call your jungler. If you get it first, you control the lane. Okay. But they counter, kind of counterpicked themselves on the early game. Okay, and Leona on four. Then you go Cassant on three to just go for the tank versus tank matchup. Yeah, to match. To so match. it's bot side game. It's a bot side game. And then you ban Ezreal and, and Rel. All right. You ban range and engage. Okay, wait, let's not talk about this draft. Let's talk about the Kaboom draft. <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting to it. No, let's talk about the Kaboom draft. Oh, this come is, on. This is the important one. I was just let's, getting the no, conclusion. This is the important one. This don't talk shit. Okay. It's GG. I won this draft. I won oh, this now draft. You, 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 you convinced I'm, them to go all the time. I'm a genius. You're a genius. I'm a genius. Look at this. Wow. What oh. do you think? What do you, what do you guys think? What, how, how do you think it works like having Rumble every game in Tibulo? It's, it's like nice, Ismo. It's like Ismo. It's fucking nice. You Rumble, no, okay, I'll be honest. Tana and I'll be honest every here. single game. Bro, I'll, I'll be honest here. Vi and Makai are up, right? So if they go Vi, I get a free Makai Rumble. And I thought they would 100% pick Makai. 
Yeah. And they just give me Rumble and Malachi. I'll it's broken. Malachi. And I'll... then you have Tristana. Yeah, exactly. It's nice, no? And you can you can buffer the Violet with Tristana W. Yeah, know? it's bad against Tristana. You shouldn't do it that, right? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. He's not... Yeah. Is is Gigo a Zeri player? Gigo Ooh. is many things, but he isn't a Zeri player. Oh, you oh you you didn't see today, right? Zeus played Zeri against Cassante. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, okay? Let me teach you a life lesson. Don't fucking copy what Zeus is playing. I agree. Don't copy what any of them are playing. You have no talent. I, I'm gonna be honest with you sure. guys. You guys do not have talent. You have no talent. You cannot play these things. Just accept you have no talent. It's okay. Don't fucking queue up in my game and lock in Zeri top. I want to kill you. You have no talent. Oh, you haven't seen the bard then. Bard. Yeah. Uh, I'm not playing solo. Bargin. Get ready for Pro Delta. Begging for Bargin. Okay, let's be honest, Tokus. What yeah? do you think is your chance of us winning CBLO this split? You want me to be on a hundred percent no coping? Hundred percent no coping. Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent? No, fifteen percent. Fifteen? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> look, look. Can I can I explain? Can I explain? Or are you just going to judge me it's for what it's said? Okay, first off, right? Your team has less experience. That's the Negative, right? But you have the best coach. Well, no, true, true. That is true. You that see? No, but Smiley has so much experience. He's got like 40 years of experience. I mean, he has more experience than in every leg than every single CBLO player, right? He's like a father figure. Smiley? Yeah? He's only 25. Really? 10, I 20. thought he was 40. Like 40 more. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Choking. You think we'll choke? Yeah, so, nervous. Nervous, nervous, right? And then there's be a lot of people, be a whole stadium. Some of them never play in that kind of environment. But, but it could be a buff as well. Some players get, get really happy and stuff. Oh, we didn't talk about Loud Crisis in the end, right? A Loud Crisis? Keep it up, boys. Let's go. That's my... <laughs> <laughs> What's your summary on the loud, loud uh, crisis? crisis? I'll, I'll give my opinion, like serious opinion. And... Yeah. I think they, they said they were going to bring this new style, which they learned on China. Mm -hmm. I think from watching them play, they took a lot of things from top esports. They play a really fast paced macro and they are trying to bring it here, but they are facing a lot of problems. The first one is you can't play fast paced macro if you don't win early game. Right. And when your jungler is inting, it's hard to win early game. And then your jungle is eating because your mid and top don't are not playing meta well. And the thing right now is like root 1v9. Mm -hmm. Because so much things are going wrong. And if they fix the early game problem and they develop this mid game, I think they they can still play for the for the throne again. But this time it seems harder because meta is playing against them. Okay, so my opinion on the loud um crisis is personally. Okay, I'll be 100% honest yeah. with you. I don't really give a fuck. Like, that's my own... Okay, jokes aside, and me being an idiot aside, like, I don't really care. Because the thing is, like, in my opinion, the best team is a team that wins, and you just need to play better, no? That's, like, actually the solution now. Like, we just have to play better. If we play our game, and we play good, then we should win. It doesn't matter who comes. Yeah. And to be to be clear, I don't. a lot of people disagreed, but the truth is, VKS was really close to making finals and possibly winning too. I agree. First split. Do you agree? First yeah. split. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't your clearly mental state, you should be in finals. Yeah. Like we, we for sure, guys, we for sure lost to ourselves. You guys don't understand what happened behind the scenes. Basically like the coach, I don't know who it is. They like picked Heimer Digger twice. Then they forgot Maokai Ban and a beer five. Yeah. Then he locked in Kogmo Broom blind. Bro, you threw the whole fucking series with that hammer. I don't know why you're saying you, bro. I don't know who that is. He just said that a lot about the merge bringing instability. Yeah. What's your opinion on that? I mean, I know you can't say everything, right? Yeah. But what's your first, like, when you heard the, the news, what did you think about it? I can't say in detail or get in a lot of trouble. But what I will say is, like, I think CBLOL is an independent platform connecting with the native Brazilians. 
was extremely well done because what LCS tried to do is they tried to branch out from America. Yeah. Right. They tried to make it a more global kind of platform. Um, and it was a really premium product. The LCS was a premium product back in 2000, I'd say 14, 15, right? Yeah. Like it was the league to watch if you're an English speaking country or like even like just every, everywhere outside of Asia, I think. 10 years ago, yeah, was? LCS yeah. was the main platform and, and it was the first league. And, and where they messed up a lot was like, they tried to, they, they ignored the Americans and they tried to like go to the Europeans and like yeah. go to the Brazilians and bring all these people in. Right. Do you think they chased too much like international success? I think and... so. I think so. Like they didn't push the narratives <laughs> that made the, the league <laughs> successful. Like for me, what was exciting when I was watching uh, LCS, because I was not a, I was not an avid gamer. I was like more of like a casual watcher. Yeah. And back then, this is way before I even thought about going pro. Storylines, you know, Cloud9 yeah. coming in. That's right. Like, like TSM, like them with Darius with his fucking pillow, just yeah. like going to Walmart. To, it was a Walmart. CLG. Yeah, CLG, like bay, the... hashtag Bay Life. Like, like that's what made LCS yeah. exciting. And I think what makes BR, BRCB LOL exciting, in my honest opinion, is the, the unique culture of Brazil, right? Like BRTT is a, is a, is a, is not just a league player now. BRTT no. for me is a cultural icon. Yeah. Like he's really big, even outside he's... of league. Right. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Uh, th does everyone here know about Uber Eats? That it exists. Yeah. We know. But yeah. it died in Brazil. So Uber Eats failed and they use iFood. Everyone uses iFood. Yeah. Right. I think it's the same. Like what CBLOL did, what made it really great is that they, prioritized Brazilian viewers, they made the string for Brazilians, about Brazilians, and encased it in Brazilian culture. And I think that that's what makes it so exciting, so amazing to watch. Like, when I first came here, I got a cultural shock. Because the players, they stand up and they fucking scream at each other, you know? Like, Titan screams and starts pointing his finger. And what I thought was like, this guy's, I think he's a solid player, especially for Brazil, but he's like, internationally, I think he's like, really fucking mid you know like i don't think he's like you know and uh the, the red thing caught me off guard because they don't even scream they were fucking typing mid game bro they were saying but that's Are new you drunk that's new you know and i was like jesus fucking christ this is like dumb as fuck welcome to the jungle but then i watch it from like a viewer perspective when i rewatch watch Ilada Slandas. When I rewatch TV Low broadcast, and I'm like, from the viewer perspective, this is really fun to watch. It's exciting. It's like Brazilian football, you know? Like Brazilian football is very different from European football. There's also some things they they perpetuate through time, you know? Yeah. Like there are a lot of memes or some sentences that they said, you know? Yeah. Like Hanger builds uh cut healing and stuff like that that <clears throat> it lives forever because they are doing it and it's it's showing and people like it and it and it stays. Yeah. So there's so many memes, you know. Yeah. Like, and then when you go to an A, the big orgs, the orgs that had the, you know, a lot of history, they are not there anymore. The players, after double lift and Bjergsen, the league just imploded, right? I think they were the big ones too. When they they stopped it, everything went to to shit. So that's the. I think Brazil makes it makes you remember Civil Law. 